Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a minute since I've been on. Oh my God, right? So today we're going to be doing something brand spanking new. It's going to be beautiful. So get your pins and your pads and all of that stuff ready because we're about to dig in. We're going to be doing some digital painting today. This is something brand spanking new that we usually don't do on the channel. But if you guys are new around here, my name is Danielle. I'm the artist behind Creative Girl of Color. And on this channel, you usually find portrait painting and art tutorials, really traditional art. But over the last year, I really wanted to dig in to the traditional, I mean, well, the digital realm, right? Um, and if you have been part of my group over on social media, which you should be part of my group if you're not over on Facebook, right? So if you've been part of my group, you've known that I've pretty much done, um, I tried to attempt to do digital art about eight months ago and it didn't work out. Okay. So now I am ready to roll. I have felt, I feel like I've honed my skills and this is just my one way to teach you guys how to do a digital portrait so let's pretty much let's dig in okay let's get our lives together now the materials we're going to be using is going to flow across the screen at this point um but if you case just in case you missed it it's going to be down in the description box below, so feel free to go ahead and utilize that at your will, right? As well as you can get today's reference photo and our traceable over on my website, which is creativegirlofcolor.com. Okay, so let's dig in. As you can see, we're going to be doing digital painting using Procreate, but you can use whatever you have available. Um, And let me just show you guys... Really quick, I'm using um, an iPad pencil and all of that. And I'm using an Apple pencil. And let me just show you, like, the gallery view. So here's the gallery view. This is usually what it looks like. You would basically create a new project by using the plus sign. Or you can import a photo um, and stuff like that. So you can utilize all of these different things. This is not a Procreate kind of tutorial you guys this is more so me showing you something new something we can kind of forget about our woes for the next 30 minutes or so and if we go beyond the 30 minute mark or the hour mark i'm gonna pop you guys into the time lapse so i don't bore you to death okay um but yeah i'm gonna jump into also we're gonna talk about where your girl has been over the last month? Because I know you guys are probably like, okay, where has she been? What's been really going on? Okay. Oh, we we jump right on into it. So, here's today. Um, This is the test image that I tested out f just for you guys. And basically, I was kind of, you know, testing out different images trying to figure out what I was going to like, what what I felt was going to look good um, for this particular tutorial. And this is just one option. And I think I'm going to teach you this particular option today. But you guys can change it up however you see fit. I'm um, actually, let me just show you the, the reference photo real quick. These are the different layers. As you can see, all the different layers that I put. Um, you want to use the different layers when you're doing digital art, you guys, right? Because just in case you mess up one, you could always delete that layer and go back. And that way you're not messing up the whole thing all at one time. You feel what I'm saying? And this is the beauty, the beauty of using Procreate and digital art is that you can always undo. You could always go back. You could always do other things later on. So here's the original image. Um, let me put that in. Now, if you unclick these, right, and now, boom, here's our original image, right? So, basically, I created a sketch based off of our original image, and I got, this is a royalty-free image that I got from Unsplash.com, which, um, I'm not going to get into too much of the copyright and, and royalty-free photos. 
you guys can always utilize that and do your own research on that in particular. So now I'm going to recheck those and just show you what I did. I, as you can see, I didn't even go by the reference photo. I just used the reference photo as a guide. You feel what I'm saying? As to get, to get the shapes, to get the pose, to get um, the style, the head wrap, some of the line work and stuff like that. That's usually what you want to use a reference photo for, you guys, right? So, this is pretty much, and see, look, you can zoom in and out if you want to zoom in and out. Pinch, pinch, pinch. You can definitely zoom in and out. Hopefully, you guys are not seeing too much of that glare that's coming off of there, but... Okay, so I took some time to kind of zoom you guys in, and I think it looks good this way. So I'm pretty, pretty happy with it. Yes and yes. Um, now, if you're wondering what I, what I have on my Apple Pencil, this is an Apple Pencil, and I put like a sheath on top of it because I kind of wanted it to look like a number two pencil, and I think it's really cute. I actually got it from another YouTuber that does digital art. Um, I really, really like it. But anyway... So since th this is just an example piece for you guys to show you what is capable and what we're actually going to be doing for today's tutorial, let's jump into the sketch, right? So we're going to start a whole new kind of thing. I stacked it up. I made duplicates because, the, and that's, see, you see how great digital art is? Like at first I was like, okay, digital art, like, I don't know about it. I don't know. Right. Right. But, um. Um, I quickly quelled my doubts when I turned around and figured out that you could actually duplicate and duplicate and duplicate, right? Instead of you having to redraw something five times, you could just basically copy and paste and you're good, right? So let's jump in. I Here's my original, here's my sketch. Now, as you can see, the, the layers are kind of like this. So it's down to two layers. Here's my original photo. Here's my sketch. You could actually delete this, like see, swipe left. You could delete, duplicate, or lock, right? So I, I'm actually going to delete it because I don't need it. But you can keep yours if you happen to want to. Again, remember what I said about layers. Now, this layer is my actual sketch, which you can name this layer. Click it, um, sketch, and boom, black out, right? You could add a little emoji, be like, oh, yeah, that's the sketch, yeah, 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 okay. Now, let's go to another layer. And let's kind of get creative with it. Let's figure out what we want to do. I want to start on the head wrap. So I'm going to, again, pinch my fingers. Make sure I'm on that right layer. Layer 2. Tap here. Now, when you want to do a tap, right? I'm already on the color that I need and everything, right? See? This is the color I need. It's already on the color that I need. I'm actually using um, inking, right? Here's the inking section, studio pen. That's my favorite. That's my fave for sketching. But you can do whatever you feel is right. You feel what I'm saying? So I've already done the sketch, so I don't really need the sketching pencil, but I like to have it anyway just because it's good for line work, right? Now, you should actually do your own, like, swatching. Remember, I always tell you guys you should swatch before you actually decide to do something. So now, if you want to undo this, you take two fingers, boom, boom, down, down, right? Let's try that again. Now you take three fingers. You want to redo, boom, boom, redo, undo, undo, right? That's what you do if you want to undo and redo, right? So those are good, 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 and they come in handy, you guys. But you know what I always tell you about swatching? I think you should swatch things out, and this goes for the same thing for Procreate, just to figure out what brushes you like. This is the brush sign right here. See the brush library? 
They have all these brushes. I even have some brush packs that I actually bought from other creators. And I'm not going to go through everything, but here's like a, a brush pack that I bought from another creator. It has all of these um, like bushes and flowers and trees and stuff like that. I really, really love this because this is a lifesaver, right? Yes and yes. Like say I wanted to add a tree to this particular um, um, digital illustration, right? I would tap on that. Boom. You choose the color you want. You can choose here in the color wheel. Boom. Undo, right? That's too big. You go right here and you see how I'm minimizing and making my brush smaller, bigger, right? Smaller, bigger, smaller, bigger, right? So I want it smaller. Boom. Now you got a small tree. And you can do a line of trees. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Wow. So now she has a line of trees, right? Undo. I don't want that. I don't want trees in here. So anyway, I'm just showing you a quick thing of some of the stuff you can do. But you can always look up stuff online on how to do things and procreate really really quickly because this is again this is not a procreate demo this is just me showing you how i paint a digital portrait in procreate right okay so let's have fun let's kind of dig into her head wrap right before i'm on layer two i'm gonna change my color and yeah 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 I'm liking the pinks. I Recently, I really got into like pinks, like pastel colors. I've been watching She-Ra, you guys, like a lot, okay? And, oh, I was I, I said I was going to get into like a little bit of conversation as, as we start to paint this in as to where I've been and what's been going on with me, why I've been kind of in my ear. As you guys know, it is an apocalypse, okay? We're still in an apocalypse. We're still in quarantine, whether they partially open things back up or not. We are still, well, at least here in the East Coast, things are just not normal. You know what I mean? Like, we're in a new normal where when you go to the store, you got to have on full kind of riot gear and mask and stuff like that. Let me pick these colors while I chat with you guys. So I'm going to pick three basic colors to fill my um, my head wrap in, but you can pick any color that you want to. And I'm gonna show you how to color block and pop these colors in really, really quickly to give you a colorful head wrap and it's gonna be gorgeous, yeah? Um, so, let me see here. What color do I want? Okay, so I want a pastel -y color. I'm going to go with this. Let's go with like a pastel -y color. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah, yeah. Magenta. That's my favorite color anyway, you guys. You know that. Whoa. All right. Now... We know what we're doing. Okay. Here's the thing. For the head wrap, if you want to do the color pop, you have to go... Actually, I forgot about that. You got to go back to the sketch layer. Right? Tap that so you can remove this that um, little menu thing, whatever. You still on your color, your magenta. I'm going to go back to my magenta because I want to add a color pop. Here's how you do it. You hold it down. And it doesn't want to work. Okay, there you go. Hold it down. Boom. Look at that. That's like magic. Like, ow. <laughs> Say it with me. Ow. Okay. So, and then, again, if you don't like it, and you, like, say you put it somewhere you don't want it, boom. Two fingers down. You just removed it. And you want to put it back. Boom. Three fingers down. Okay. So, I like that color. That's what I want to do. That's where I'm going with it. I'm feeling this whole situation, so that's what I'm going to do. All right. Um, and I'm going to fill it in. Continue to fill it in wherever you see fit, right? 
Wherever you want to put that color, just put it in. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm just randomly putting things in. Boom. So I've chosen four situations that I want to do that. Okay, so now let's go with um, like a black or, or like a dark purple, right? So we can go with a dark purple... Dark, 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 purple. Yeah, 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 yeah. And put that there. Right there. Now, if you happen to move, like you lose your color, go back in. You can do it two ways. You can hold this down. It'll pop you up back to the last color that you was in. Or you can just tap it and, you know, repick the color. But I like to just go back in and just retap it. Um, color pop. And boom. Okay. So now we have three different variations of color. I like that. I'm loving that. I'm feeling it. I'm with it. Yeah. Um, now, again, we're going to stay on the sketch layer while we're doing this, right? You can see it's starting to develop there in the little window. Make sure you're on the right layer. That's the only way that this little color pop thing will work. Um, so we have that. Let's go into maybe do a green. Greens and purples kind of go together. Let's go here. Kind of like that. I don't know if I like it or not. I maybe like it. I don't know. The jewelry is still out. Whether I like it or not. I don't know. Okay. So what other color do you think we should add? Hmm. If you happen to be on the live premiere comment below and let me know and and also let me know how's your week been what's been going on with you catch me up if you happen to be on a live premiere i really would love to know or if you're on the replay go ahead and comment and tell me do you are you digging these colors are you loving this yay or nay yay or nay right and you see this is a deviation from the original one that I showed you off to the side, right? Um, so let's see. What other color do I want to add? Okay. Um, let's go with... Do you want to go with a blue, maybe? Maybe we can go with a red. You can always change this stuff. None of this stuff is permanent, you guys. Um, don't ever feel like it is. I'm just sitting here choosing colors, seeing what I like, yeah? Look, you can even change your line work. If you feel like... You, you're not able to do the color pop like you want to. Go ahead and zoom all the way in. Tap it, hold, boom, right? That looks good. I like the pink and um, the blue, right? Again, this is the easy way. You could actually do this because you still have the color on your brush, right? Um... You can switch over back to, you can do painting, right? Which you can do the round brush, which is my fave. Or you can go back to inking and you can actually fill it in. Say you don't, you don't want to do um, the color pop or you're not comfortable with doing the color pop. Fill it in, yeah? Takes a little bit longer, but it does the same thing. You, you know, you it gets the job done. Yes and yes. <clears throat> so, as you know, with the apocalypse and everything that's been going on in the world, 
Um, on top of all of that, um, some tragic things have gone on, especially that have been detrimental to people in my community, the African American community. And it has, I mean, it's, it's something that, yeah, you know, we have, we're used to, we, unfortunately we are used to, um, people being, our people being, you know, accosted and, and abused and, and, um, slain in the streets and stuff like that. Um, unfortunately that's a normal thing for us and it's been like that for the last 400 years, unfortunately, but, um, it's a new thing for the world. So I feel like we're in a new dawn, we're in a new precipice of change and activity and civil unrest. And because of that, I needed to kind of unplug and I needed to, I didn't really know how to be here for you guys. And at the same time, be here for me and my family and my community and grieve and, um, and have all the feelings without feeling like I needed to put on airs to make a video. You know what I mean? Like, if you know what I'm saying? So I don't, you know, I don't want to get too deep about that right now. I just want to say that I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for hanging in there. Sorry for, you know... If it was like you felt like in like abandoned or inconvenient or whatever, but um, I just was not in the headspace to do any sort of videos over the last I would say month, month, two months, or whatever you want to say, you know what I mean? I just wasn't in the headspace to do that at this point, but um, I love you guys so much though, you know, and. As a community, as a world, I pray for us. I hope that we get through this. I hope that we will continue to heal. I hope that the people that need to do work and need to ask those hard questions are asking those hard questions. Um, I do have resources in um, the description box for people that want to donate or that want to purchase. I do. I did do a illustration over the time that I was not online um for the movement and 10 percent of the proceeds will go towards um i think it's 10 percent 10 percent 20 percent will go towards the black lives matter uh, movement um or the untold freedom movement so you guys can also check that out down in the description box but yeah um so, yeah, I wasn't in the headspace to really do much, you know what I mean? So, I just tried to, and I, I really, I mean, you guys know me to be happy most of the time, very happy, very, you know what I mean? Like, just, like, I want to be known for spreading positivity and stuff like that, and I just, I was, I just couldn't, you know what I mean? I just couldn't, so... Um, of course, you know, we're, we're not, um, oh, this is a good way, you guys, if you hold your finger down, you can actually pull up, the eyedropper will pop up, and you can actually pull up the, whatever color you have your finger on, okay, so that's a good way, um, because I want that color, I'm gonna drop it here, no, not here. I want to drop it. I don't know if I'm liking the green. I don't know about that. But we can always change that later if I don't like it, right? I can always change it later, you guys. Yeah? Um, what was I talking about? Yeah, so, you know, I... Like I said, I feel like as a as a world, as a community, we are growing, but unfortunately, we have to break things down from scratch. You know what I mean? Break things down from the bare minimum. It's basically we have to break everything down from scratch to build it back up to where it needs to be. And I'm praying that 
you know, in the process, we will love each other and be very understanding and be um, the wonderful people that I know we can be. And you know what I mean? Like, I'm just, that's my hope and um, prayer. Sorry for any noises, but you know, it is daytime around here, you guys. And um, I'm going to add a little yellow, little bits of yellow, just little strips of color. Um, again, remember, if I, if that color dropper is not working, pop this guy, flow it under, right? Zoom in. I mean, not flow it under. I'm talking about zoom in. Um, yeah, so I'm liking those kind of pops of yellow. I think I'm feeling that. I'm feeling it. And like I said, I didn't really follow the reference photo. I felt like it was just too, you know what I mean? Like, I just wanted to kind of explore and just do my own thing. And this is the good thing about digital art, that you can actually kind of explore and just do that. You know what I mean? Um, do it, do it, do it. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of purple because yellow and purple go together, right? So, yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. Like, y'all... Yeah. I'm just trying to get the value that I feel is going to be the most appropriate. Mm, I, don't know. I don't know if I like that or not. Hmm. Yeah, that's okay. It's alright. It's alright. Um, do I have blue? Okay, so let's go with a blue. I'm adding every color under the rainbow, right? And that's okay. And we can do that because that's our business. Ooh, that's pretty too, right? See, that was a happy accident. Boom. A good thing too is to always zoom out. Zoom out when you're doing things so that you can actually see the full composition. That's the, that's the drawback of doing traditional work is that you're not able to always step back like that far, far, far from your work and figure out exactly where you're at with it. You know what I mean? Um, I'm kind of feeling, okay, maybe I need to add some more of the dark spots, not dark spots. Um, so I'm going to take some of this and boom, 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 the boom, boom, boom. And I'm kind of feeling like I need to add some dark up here, but I don't know where maybe here. Okay, so, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, we missing a spot here. Hmm. Think I'll use that color. Uh oh. Uh oh, spaghettio peeps. Alrighty then. All right, so yeah. Um, that kind of sticks out like a sore thumb, but again, I love this. I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm going to go with it. I'm not going to fuss over it. That's kind of why I got into digital art so that I can kind of do things like this and not fuss over it and feel any type of way about it. You know what I mean? And we're making good time, you guys. Good, good, good time. Good, good time. Let me move this down a little bit. Real good time. Real good time. Hmm. Okay, so. Now that we got, we've done our head wrap. Now I'm going to switch over to, now we can switch over to our next layer. Layer two. And, 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 right? Now I'm going to color her earring in. What are we going to color her earring into? Like, what is it going to be? 
We can pick anything from the head wrap. The head wrap is pretty colorful. So you want to go maybe something neutral that's not going to be too much going on. So I'm going to pick like a cooler green maybe. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna pick like a cooler green. Whoa. Okay, so we're gonna have issues. So I'm just gonna paint this in. So how has your week been, you guys? How's your month been since the last time I seen you? Um, you know, tempers have been high. I spent quite a bit of time. Yeah, <laughs> too much time arguing and fighting with people on my timeline, okay? That's what I've been doing. Okay, so I'm gonna add like some more, some little bit of sparkle here. So I'm gonna go a little bit lighter. We're still green, right? We're still green. Uh oh. Undo that. We are still green, you guys. Yeah. So I'm adding a little bit of sparkle here. I'm pretty zoomed in. So, you're not going to really notice, right? like, this looks crazy right now. But it'll look totally different. See that? Boom. When you zoom out, it looks totally different, right? Okay. That looks totally different. So, now that we've done that... I mean, you could actually do everything on this same thing if you wanted to. But you see how I kind of did. I'm I'm doing it in different layers because I feel like in case I want to change something, you know. But if you wanted to do it all in this sketch layer, that's your business, right? That's something that you would be able to do in that feeling type of way. Now I'm going to go to her necklace. Let me do that. Skin tone, we're going to worry about that last, right? I'm going to get into that last because I'll show you like a quick thing on how to color drop. So what are we going to do for her necklace? Okay, her earrings are brown or green. So we can go like a darker brown, a darker green, right? You could even go... Um, you know, you can go to do two different sides of the spectrum, right? A cool green, or you can go to a warm green, right? Like a yellowish green. Um, and I think I'm going to go to a warm green. And in this case, since I'm on a different layer, I'm going to have to actually... Um, I'm going to up, make sure you, the opacity, this is the opacity, I forgot to tell you guys, this is the opacity, I'm going to make sure my opacity is up, and I'm going to increase the size of my brush, right, zoom in, ooh, that's too big, right, and... Kind of take your time, you know. It's a... And then you just do a circle. Or you can fill it in whatever way you want. Mm -hmm. Fill it in whatever way you want.
And, you know, another way, right, you want to do a color drop. Like, say you want to do that color drop, color pop, right? Lower your brush size. Trace around. Hold it. The shape will instantly snap, and then you can adjust. Boom, boom, boom. Adjust your shape. Now you can take your color drop. Uh-oh. Now you can actually take your color drop. Boom, you see that? Now you can actually do that if you want to, because even though you're on another layer, you feel what I'm saying? You see that? And you can and remember what I said before, you can actually name your layers. So I'm gonna go even smaller of a brush because this is a smaller one, right? And I'm gonna outline. Outline, outline. Hold. Hold, adjust. Color drop. Same thing over here. Cool. Sorry, you can hear my little rickety chair ricketing for its life. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. My rickety chair ricketing for its life. Okay. And then we'll put some same ones right here. We're not worrying about shading or any of that stuff right now, you guys. Like, this stuff is just... See, and it's looking good, right? She has green. So that'll be her theme. Her theme is green, green, green. Some people really love green like that, yes? Yes and yes. Okay. And I kept you in real time doing this because I want to show you for real what it is I'm doing. Now, I'm going to fill in these here, but I'm going to go a little bit darker since I'm filling in those there. Make sure you're still on that same kind of layer. And you see how that's darker. So it gives the illusion like that that is in shadow. Those um, earrings or whatever you call them are in shadow. You can actually take some of that and go to another layer. Oh, sorry. Go to your layer with your earring. Say, take that same dark green color. And you could actually go in, lower the size of your brush. Uh -uh. You could actually go in, go a little bit darker. Because this is not dark enough. Lower the size of your brush, like I said. And go in and get a little bit darker just to add a little bit of uh, shadow. Right? You see how that'll, it will kind of adjust. wherever you needed to adjust, right? And that just gave it a little more dimension right there. Okay, so now let's move on and just, I'm gonna show you really quickly how to color pop her. Um, well, let's go to another, uh-oh. You wanna move layers, you can also, the cool thing is you can also move layers around, right? Hold it down. If you don't have an eye, um, Apple Pencil, don't worry about that, right? Um, 
Um, don't worry about it. So let's go to, we're going to go to another layer. And I'm actually going to do, I'm going to show you guys really quickly because we're getting into the 30, 40 minute mark. And I'm going to pop you into time lapse after I'm show you really quickly how I want to do um, her eye. Let's do the eye first. I always, my signature move for eyes is dark purple. That's, that's my thing. It's my jam. I like to make dark purple eyes. And I do that with my real-time portraits and all the portraits. It don't really matter. All the portraits, all the things, right? Doesn't really matter to me. So I'm going to fill her eye in. Right? Fill that eye in. It looks gorge. Now, the, the scolera, which is the white part of the eye, should always be a gray or a blue. In this case, you're going to do a blue, right? It's going to look blue. So you can fill that in with blue. And you can go as dark or as light as you want to go with this, right? Yeah? And you see that? That looks like an eye. From afar, it looks like an eye. Okay? What are we at, you guys? We are... But we making pretty good time, okay? Because we had 35 minutes. Usually, I go in, right? And we be barely moving. <laughs> we be barely moving at this point. Okay, so I'm on... I did another layer. That was for the eye, right? Let's name it. Let's name it eye. Let's name it the eyeball. Eyes. <laughs> you see, I put the little eye emoji up there, okay? And there we go. Boom. Eyes are done. And that's that. I might even put, like, something darker right there just to indicate the, the pupil. Again, we're going to do the eyedropper tool. Make sure we're on the eye layer. Zoom in. Go a little bit darker. Zoom in. Pupils are usually really small, so they don't need to be a lot. You don't, you don't need to do a lot. Just boom, right in the middle of the eye. Keep it moving, okay? I'm going to take the same dark purple, create another layer, and that'll be her nose. Boom. So that same dark purple will go right into the nostril. Or you could do like a dark red because um, inside your nostrils tend to be really warm. But again, this is your portrait, your world. We're just living in it. And you can do it any way you see fit. Okay? Um, as I was drawing this in... If you want to have access to that, you can actually go over to my Patreon, which is on the website. You can become a Patreon today, and you can have access to the video where I showed my patrons how I drew this in, why, you know, how to draw it in from a side um, profile, and yada, yada, yada. Okay, so now let's go to the next layer. We're going to do another layer. And that's going to be, um, now let's get into the skin tone. I want to do a little bit darker. So like a reddish brown, that's my, my go-to skin. Or you could do like a, a dark reddish brown. I mean, it's whatever, it's whatever you want to do. Or you can do the darkest reddish brown. It's whatever you want to do, right? Um, so let's try it. That seems, whoa, pretty dark. Um, I want to go a little bit lighter. And 
like I say, you could actually go back to the sketch and the color drop will work perfectly that way. Or in this particular case, since you're creating a new layer, you're going to have to outline her face first and then the color drop will work. Yes and yes, okay? So let's do that. Let's outline the face. And after we outline the face, then we will go in with the color drop. And I'm actually going to do this. I can always fix her. And we can fix it later. Zoom in when you need to, you guys. Zoom in. Yeah? And it's good to kind of practice this until you get a hang of it because I'm still using my favorite studio pen, right? But you can use whatever you want to use. Um, turn up your streamline. Until you figure it out, figure it out. Okay. Turn up your stream on. And again, we're just outlining at this point. So. We're just outlining. Oh, and we ended up changing colors while we outlined, huh? Let's go back to the color pop. It takes some time to get a, a hang a hang of um this whole thing. So practice your kind of line work practice practice makes perfect that way you get the hang of everything yes You, whatever you outline is, that's where your color will go. And you have to make sure that you fully close out um, your outline. You understand what I mean? You have got to fully close it out in order for it to work. Make sure there's no gaps and there's no... Uh, nothing there that's going to be super visible before you do your color drop, yes? Okay, so now I think we're ready for color drop. Make sure you're on the right layer. You can rename it, put, um, skin tone or face. You can put face. <clears throat> Do as many layers as it, as it will allow. Boom. You see that, you guys? Woo. Ooh, it actually... I see what it did. Okay. So now, you see how it covered up my whole eye? I have to actually go in and out and continue to outline that I so that me 
increase my brush size here so that I won't end up right yeah So I actually needed to not do that. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it definitely was trying to be extra with it for real. It was trying to be so extra. And you could kind of just go in. And again, you can fill this in as you see fit. If, if that's what you want to do. Fill that whole thing in. Okay, so let's try it now and see what we get. Boom. Alright, so that's a little bit better. Still kind of bugging me. But you get the gist of what I'm talking about. We can always go in and clean things up. In the ear. Hit the ear right there. And I'm going to continue to keep. I'm going to keep the ear and the face on the same thing. Um, I'm going to keep that on the same layer. Go down a little bit. See if I can do a color pop here. Whoa. No, that didn't work. So now I'm just going to fill it in. Actually, go a little bit darker. And I'm going to fill in my ear. Yes. See that? We probably don't need it to be that dark. But, yeah. I'm going to lower this. So that I can have an outline for my nose. Then I'm going to do the color picker. Zoom in. And I'm going to... Use my brush again. With that same skin tone color fill in my nostrils yes you guys look at that nice and gorgeous beautiful African Queen Yes, yes. Okay. Now, if you want to do, I'm going to speed you guys up. I'm going to pop. I pretty much showed you how to do this skin tone right here. I'm going to pop you guys into time lapse. And hopefully you guys are chatting and letting me know how you've been doing. How's your last couple of months been happening? I'm going to pop you guys in the time lapse. Let you enjoy the music and the vibes as I continue to shade and stuff like that. I'm not going to do too much shading because I want it to still be kind of um, like free and flowing, cartoony, but not cartoony, but kind of graphic, right? So I'm not going to get too deep into it. This is just supposed to be a project for us to relax and whatever. So anyway, I'll pop back in at the end and we'll talk about what we did. Yeah. So, as you can see, like, this is at the point where I start to put in the background. I decided to go with 
some peaches and oranges and pinks and I did a gradient going all the way down from dark to light then I went with a, a dark orange border and I thought that was really cute but then I changed my mind and decided on pink you could actually adjust the temperature and voila background you guys so and we're back <laughs> as you can see I um I decided I've I've gotten in the background. We've done her skin tone. We've done a lot of stuff. We've done a lot, a lot, a lot, you guys, right? So I just wanted to stop the time lapse really quick just to kind of slow you guys down and talk about what I want to do next. I wanted to add some more decoration into the background. So I'm going to show you kind of these brush packs that I got from other creators um like the modern florals and the collage one i got from um i think her name is liz liz kohler liz kohler she is a creator on skillshare you guys so i got her brush packs and um sorry you guys you know the kids are home all day long okay um, so I want to put some butterflies. She has like butterflies in her pack. She has like, you know, people, stuff like that. I've even made my own little brush right here. She has a lot of different things going on right here. But I don't want to do too much. Again, we want to keep it really graphic. Uh, let's go with a butterfly. We could change it to, let's make sure we're on a different layer. Well, I said plants, so let's maybe go to the plants first. Um, so see, you can see all of her different plants she has available. Opaque wash one. Um, technical pen, stuff like that. Um, so these leaves, you can kind of throw those leaves in. Oh, so let me show you real quick. Now, if you double tap that, this will pop up and you can actually go into Streamline, right? Streamline, well, this it's not going to really help you for this one because this is the actual, like, thing that you inject into your whatever, right? So, Streamline will help you with your line work, okay? And I'm not going to adjust that because, again, that's just something I'm going to insert into my stuff again i wouldn't even say like for me i'm glad i started doing um digital art i'm gonna change my color i'm glad i'm kind of glad i started doing digital art later on in life um let me see something i might have to go to a more lighter green there we go so I'm kind of glad I kind of started digital art later on in life because um, hold on. you can actually move these too, you guys, if you guys are ever worried about that. But I'm kind of glad I started digital art later on after I've already done like the basics and After I like did the basics and I did all the stuff that I wanted to do, I'm really glad that I learned all of this stuff beforehand because um, that way I don't I'm not confused when it comes to like what colors work, what colors don't work. Even though you should be experimenting and stuff like that, but um, I'm not really confused when it comes to that particular thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm really liking how this like muted green and purple looks it's really pretty purples and greens go together again i'm glad i started doing art before i jumped into digital i mean some people start with digital and that's okay but it's hard for you to kind of figure out color if you go straight into digital first you feel what i'm saying so anyway i wanted to show you guys that particular um like brush pack and kind of show you what you can do with it and yeah 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 
Um, what was the other stuff I wanted to do? Oh, I wanted to do butterflies. So let's go to the butterflies. Let's add another layer. I'm not going to name it. We know what it is. Um, and we can go to butterflies, which is in the collage. And you could do like a yellow butterfly. Like an orangey butterfly. Because yellow and purple actually are complements. So it might work, but then it might not work. We don't know. Let's go to yellow orange. So that works, right? A little bit. We can even change the color. You don't see, you don't have to do anything. Let us turn it out green. I don't want no green. Now you have all of these different butterflies. You see that, you guys? All of these different variations of stuff. I mean, it seems like it's a lot going on, but it kind of works for me, right? It works. I'm feeling it. Um... I feel like she's part of nature. She's flowing through. This is just my expression of it. But you guys can do what you want. Again, these are extra additional brush packs that don't actually come with Procreate. You can find um, some of these um, creators online that actually sell brush packs. And then my other brush pack that I bought from... I don't even know what her name is. Um, I will, hopefully I'll have that by the end of this video. If not, you can always hit me up on Instagram and I'll shoot you over to her. Um, so you could do like a tree in the background. Ooh, yeah, that works too, right? And then if I lower the tree, now this tree's like, see... Increase, lower, right? So, now you get like a miniature tree. So, you could actually do something like... Like that. You could do all sorts of things with this. Like, really get into it here remember double tap and you get um it'll undo yeah yes and yes you guys like you can have so much fun with this thing I, you know it's like the sky's the limit you can really uh -oh. i think i merged the layer and i didn't want to do that I didn't want to do that. See, look. Now, you done put it behind her. Yes? Now it's behind her. Yes, I'm loving that. I'm loving that. Yes. It looks really pretty. Yeah. So now the tree is behind her. That's the trick. If you do it in a lower layer, if you try to place something, like like I said, you can adjust these layers. If you, because I place the tree in the background layer, it ended up behind her and not in front of her, right? So that looks pretty gorgeous. I'm very happy with that. Um, I don't feel like I want to even do much else to it. You guys <clears throat> can definitely do more to it if you want to. Um, I'm actually going to just fill in little spots here and there. But I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I also learned some new stuff, new discoveries, you guys, um, on animation and all of that stuff. So, if you guys are you happen to be on the live replay and you stayed to this point, you're an absolute superstar. Thank you so, so much for staying this long. But um, if you want to see me do more digital art, 
You can always hit me up on Patreon, patreon.com slash creative girl of color, or you can comment below and let me know. I'm loving this session. I would love to see more digital art in the future because this is a good way to brainstorm your paintings. Like if you want to figure out a composition ahead of time, brainstorm your paintings, blase, blase. That's a dope painting right there. If I wanted to do something like weird and, and trippy and like, um, woodsy, you know what I mean? In nature I would definitely do something like that. Um, so again, I'm going to, oh, I'm just going to add, uh -oh. I'm on the wrong layer. See, watch your layers. I need to be on the face. Uh -oh. And I'm on the wrong brush. See, I got too excited. Too excited. Okay, go back to inking. Studio pen. Boom. Oh, I don't like that color. I need this color. Okay. There we go. But that purple in there looked weird. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's get it together. Get it together. Let me see. I need to have a happy medium, like... Something that's going to be dark, but not too dark, kind of? I don't know. Right? That looks weird. She looks like a um, weird ear. <laughs> that looks very freaking weird. Okay? So, yeah. I, I love this. I love this composition. I'm not even going to... Um, oh, let me change to another. Where's my plants? Arms, blase, blase. Oh, here we go. Um, I'm not even going to uh mess with this. I'm really loving it again. You guys at home. If you don't like your stuff, you can always do something else. You know what I mean? Like, never feel like you have to settle for whatever you, whatever is there. You know what I mean? Like, you don't have to settle for that. Oh, you can do a little something with the eye eyelashes. I forgot about that. Eyelashes. I'm having so much fun with this, you guys. I'm loving this particular lesson. It really makes me happy. And then I don't have to get dirty. That's another thing. You don't have to get dirty with paint. You can just kind of have fun. If you don't happen to have the iPad, you could also do a Wacom tablet. You could do a Wacom tablet and stuff like that. Um, okay. Okay. So, let's pop in these eyelashes because my gal needs eyelashes. We're going back on that same layer. I'm going to get this dark brown and I'm going to give her... Like some swooping bomb eyelashes because that's what she needs, okay? She needs that in her life. What is this? Studio pen. Okay, I'm still on the right one. Let me put a little bit of something here. And you could have them going out as long as you want. And you see, that's what I did. That's what I did. The darlings, what I did. So it looks gorgeous. It looks super beautiful. Okay, and that's it for today's video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're doing well wherever you are in the world. Just know that you are loved. 
and I'm sorry for the long hiatus. Hopefully, I will be back with another video next week. Same time, same place. So make sure you get on in here and tune in and let me know if you enjoyed it. And let me know if you attempt this. If you have your own iPad at home or maybe you can do it traditionally. If you attempt this, you can hit me up under the hashtag creative girls of color. And yeah, that's it, you guys. I love you so much. So, 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 so much. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.